I just uh, just come from the gym and I had a really good workout. Really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I'm excited about the weekend confidence program. We're getting closer now. What is it? The sixth today. It's coming off on the 23rd and the 24th. So today I'm going to promote the weekend program, and I'm going to, as always, give you guys a lot of value and talk about how you can improve your social skills. And, and how you can enjoy socialising and, and speaking to women and meeting women and dating women and, and, and all around the board in, enjoy talking to people because I think, actually I don't think, I, I know from experience for a fact that when, when you enjoy talking to women, you know, the success comes uh, as a result. Uh, and that, that's, kind of, that's kind of one of the biggest struggles that, that men have uh, and that's why they're not successful with meeting women and building those meaningful connections because they don't know how to get into a, a state of flow where, where they can where they can enjoy it. So I can explain how you can get to that place and we do that on the weekend program. We accomplish that every single time. It usually takes about an hour. So I'm going to answer some questions in the live stream today and I'm going to go over some ways that you can build your confidence with women, with people, with life. Because that's a really important thing that I teach and people forget, is that it's not just about building confidence of women. That's not where it stops. It's about building confidence in other areas of life. Um, because if you're just a little bit confident of women, but you're insecure in so many other areas, it's, it's kind of contradicting it's kind of contradicting being confident of women and you're gonna you're gonna lose out so there are obviously other areas that are important hence well the most important other than your family um, is your purpose in life so that's something that I teach and explain or at least give some direction over the weekend program on how the guys that are coming on can find their life purpose if they haven't found it already so it's getting that relationship where you're enjoying your gym, you know, you're building a successful business or you're enjoying the job that you're doing and you're transferring that energy over, um, you know, when you speak to people. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's very easy when you're being accountable and you're facing your fears and you're doing the best that you can. It's, it's very easy to attract women. You know, women are always, always fundamentally going to be attracted to men that are confident and that are positive and, and they're in a, here's come to flies again. Flies love coming on, I did a live stream. You know, it's just a rule of thumb, it's just human nature. And it's not just, you know, with the way that women are attracted to men. It's, you know, people are attracted to people that are more positive and taking more action. You, you wanna be around people that are strong and that are successful and that are kind and, and doing amazing things. Most people do. You know, it's crazy how it's crazy how the simple things are the most powerful. But to get to the the simple things and to master them, you've got to go through a lot of suffering. Always the case, always like that. So I guess you've got to go through a certain amount of suffering until you can get to that place of enjoyment where you enjoy the process and you don't. You're not desperate to impress. You're not empty. You're not an empty cup. You know, you're. Um, cheesy but you know you're, you're, you're kind of full up or even more full right when, when you when your cup is full and, and that's a metaphor for when you've got self-esteem and you've got a purpose in life and you're living it and you're happy you know it's very simple and it's very easy to meet women enjoy meeting women make women feel comfortable and attract them into your life it really is or just have a good conversation and not and just be anxiety free or to have less anxiety. Uh, I think that's one of the re rewards that comes with putting in the work and working hard, you know, being uh, very hard working in your life, just as a, as a characteristic, as, as a character, uh, as a habit, as a, a daily habit.
because I went into the, I've been training in the gym for a long time, but you know, of course you, you have good days, you have bad days, and I went into the gym today, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. I didn't put any, any pressure on myself, and I had a great workout, you know? I, I had a good workout, I enjoyed every minute of it. Uh, I was so grateful and happy to be there. I wanted to be in the gym, and I came out, and I can, I can feel the difference, I can feel the results, not just on my body, but my mindset. I just enjoyed it, and I think when, when if you, in, whatever you do, if you enjoy it, you're successful, you know. Um, and that's so it's a little bit of a, a contradiction in the sense that things are always hard when you don't enjoy them, but when you enjoy something, it's the joy that makes you attractive. It's the joy that makes your social skills better, and the joy it just makes things fall into place. And you guys know that already, don't you? in the life experience you've had thus far all your experiences think of times where you've just been enjoying your life your work family it just flows naturally it's not all messy and heavy and stressful and unnatural and insecure it just connects like a puzzle and it works so kind of back to what the stream live stream i was saying i think it was last week you can check on my YouTube channel. These streams are all connecting. A bit of a story going. I spoke about the flow state. You know, positive psychology scientists um, have understood, and I've understood because I've lived it for many years, that when a person, any person, is fully focused, fully present, and engaged in what they're doing, and they're happy, they go into a more positive state of um, human consciousness and in that state they can perform at a high level of excellence and that's no different to anything that you do if you're in a flow state your conversations with other human beings are fantastic people enjoy talking to you you enjoy your own presence you enjoy being around others because enjoyment is the principle it's the energy it's the state of consciousness it's the joy that takes care of it ticks all the boxes but when you're not enjoying something that's when fear anxiety insecurity self-doubt selfishness forcing things all the all the, all those things um, start playing out and that's when it doesn't work out but of course it's totally fine to make mistakes that's how you learn I make mistakes every day you learn you grow so it's good to be aware of the right way of doing something and the wrong way. And I've seen it over the years with teaching. That's the great thing. I've not just been able to judge myself in a positive way and look at the way I've performed when I've failed, when I've succeeded big. I see it with students when they are stressed and they're putting pressure on themselves and they're trying to get a date or they're trying to make a woman's day or they're trying to not um, get awkward. Um, it doesn't work out, but when they just relax more, when they stop trying to force things and they just be honest, go with the flow, be genuine, it works out and they get a date. Or like I said, success is not, success is not always about getting a date from a woman, getting a phone number. Of course that is success, but for me success is the connection, the happiness, because you could be miserable you could be depressed, you could have a conversation with a woman, you could ask for a number, she could give you a phone number, but you're miserable, you're miserable and you didn't enjoy it. So is that really success? It's questionable. It's, it's interesting to examine it, where you can have a conversation where you're, you're not a desperate person for numbers, you just enjoy it. A woman enjoys talking to you, there's a great interaction, but you come away, there's no phone number, there's no, there's no date, but there is a great connection, there's a feeling of joy. All right, mate. So, you know, it's, it's interesting because on the weekend confidence program, because maybe because I've ran so many, I don't really have to force joy or force it. It just happens naturally. And we create an environment between the group, which is about four or three of us, where we enjoy each other's company. We are encouraging one another. There is not no negative ego. There is no competing. There is only support, collaboration, enjoyment. And I didn't, we didn't get one bad reaction 
from any woman on the last programs I've ran, nothing. No bad reactions because it's honest. Um, all the guys understand the importance of having respect you know, for people when you're speaking to them and women and enjoying it. And it just comes across and women appreciate it and they're happy to speak to you. And the worst that you're going to get is, you know, I'm a bit busy, I can't speak right now. That's fine. If someone's busy, then that's not rejection. They're busy, they've got to go. And you say, all right, great. You know, you make the time count, whether it's a couple of seconds or a minute. So just try and take one thing today from this live stream and really ask yourself, you know, how can I enjoy talking to women? Because you can do it. If you really want to do it, you can do it. Now, it might just click for some of you straight away. Sometimes you're fortunate. Some of you, it, it might be a bit of a struggle, but just keep working at it. And that might be a case where you have to look at yourself and say, well, why am I enjoying my day in life? And maybe it's because you're depressed, because you're not accountable, you're not going gym, you're not being all that you can be, you're not getting a mentor, you're not cleaning your apartment, you're putting things off, you're blaming people, you're watching too much negative stuff on social media, and that's affecting your happiness. So ask yourself that question. And I ask myself that question every day. How can I enjoy my life? What can I do today to make it joyous? How can I be more positive to other people? How can I make them have a great time? And if you ask those questions, you will get the answers and then you'll be able to turn it around and, and enjoy the process. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a catch 22, because some people might say, well, uh, it's not that easy, you know? I can't, my life is tough, it's difficult. And I get that, and we've all gone through that. I've gone through that many times. And it can be like that, depending on where you're at, what you're going through, how you feel but it can be so easy to have joy. Sometimes joy just comes without you doing anything. And I think there's a big there's a big lesson in that for all of us, you know. I was thinking back to this, guys, this might inspire you. You know, some of the people I've met over the years and the friends that I've had, like when we've gone out or we've just been together, it's just been so much fun. There's been no forcing things. And as a result, because we're enjoying our life and we're not desperate to get women or get numbers or get anything, we just enjoy each other's company. The time goes so quick, you know, and the amount of times I've been out with friends and I've ended up meeting a beautiful girl and they've met a lovely person and we've not even been trying. You all right? Sorry, are you from IOG? No, I'm not from IOG. I'm from Ireland. <laughs> no. weirdest thing just happened guys I mean that is so weird that's really strange I'm I'm doing this live stream and I'm not even thinking about anything and uh, this beautiful woman just comes up and um, is staring at me I thought and then she just smiles and and, um, and asks me something so if that's not proof of what I've been saying um, I know you guys couldn't see but you could see I just spoke to someone that's not proof of this principle then then I don't know what it is and you guys have seen my videos over the years you've seen you saw my conversations you've seen me fail you've seen great connections you've seen most of the time when I've gone out that I'm a gentleman and I, I speak to women with respect and I get good reactions and, and there's a great connection and you can do the same I'm no different to any of you I'm just a normal guy man it's a normal guy who faces his fears um, fails but doesn't give up and then eventually succeeds and, and learns from, from smart people. And I try my best to help as many people uh, as I can. So, yeah, when I've been in good company, it, it's, it's unbelievable um, what happens. And that's why the weekend program works, because you're in good company. So if any of you want to join the weekend program, send me an email. Uh, my email is underneath all my videos. Uh, it might not be under this video right now because I, I, I didn't actually put the email, put it after, but you can go to any video, email me, and if you want to get over your fears and your anxieties and you want to be honest with women, meet women, connect with women, and just be confident, then the weekend program is definitely for you, especially if you're coming from the values that I have where you're not into tricks, you're not into manipulation, I'm not into all that, you're just a genuine guy that wants to get more confidence, needs to help, needs some support to get over your fears, then this program definitely for you. And as I said, I only take four 
the students on the programme, I could take more, I could make a lot more money, but I don't do that because if I took more than four students, you lose quality, there's too many people. Um, so I keep it to four maximum, sometimes we have three, so I can give everyone the right amount of focus, attention, so they can get the best experience possible over the weekend. Now, if you can't do the programme, that's fine. I'm going to give you all the information for free anyway, and I've been doing that. I do it on all my videos, and I've been doing it now. So I'll, I'll help people, I'll help good people, um, whether they do my programme uh, and they spend the money or not. What I, all I ask for is, uh, you know, people that are good, kind people. I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not going to take people on programmes. I don't care about the money if they've got a bad attitude, they don't have the right values, then, you know, no disrespect for them. I wish them the best, but I won't work with them. And I won't waste my, my time, which is important, and so is yours, helping people for free that don't really deserve it and don't appreciate it. So these are the values that, that I, I live by, and this is how I was brought up. Funny that we speak about values, man, values take you a long way. I know that we're living in a world that doesn't really, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't focus on that. It seems to focus on, you know, negativity, fakeness, ego, mania, and that's fine. But I know quality people who I work with and people like yourself, you really appreciate good values. And if you want to meet a great woman, you've got to have some great values and great people and be successful. So we'll just, you'll just outline a few tips to, if you want to note down on how to enjoy meeting women, talk to women. Um, positivity, enjoying the process, good manners. I'll give you an example. I'm sure you guys know, but just in case someone doesn't know, you know, good manners, being a gentleman, like have just being well mannered, like, hi, excuse me, how are you? How's your day? Nice to meet you. You know, have a great day. Thank you. It goes a long way, man. I'm telling you. It goes a long way having good manners and your results, you'll get better results. Those, any guy out there, and I know there's some, who thinks that having good manners is a weakness, that's weak, they don't understand it. They haven't matured. They're still in too much of their ego. Good manners is a strength of character. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you a weak man. It doesn't, it doesn't make you not masculine. It actually is the opposite. Especially when you're in you know, nice places. Always have respect and have, have good manners. So you can incorporate good manners and good social skills into your conversations with women. And if you, if you saw my videos over the years, you see that I've got good manners. You know, it's not a gimmick. It's not an act. It's not, it's not a technique. It's who I am. It's how I've been brought up. And all my clients are the same. They've got, they got really good manners. And that's why I love working with, um, with good people, with good manners, because it goes a long way, you know, it really does. It lasts a lot longer than likes on Instagram, likes on YouTube and followers. There's a, there's a certain amount of fakeness with that, right? I'm not saying all of it is, but good manners, genuine good manners is, you can't put a price on that, you can't buy that. That's a good little, um, Good tip, you know. If, if you if you want to be liked by people, have good manners. Pe people like you in the business world, the dating world. Doesn't matter what ba background, you know. One of you asked me yesterday on the stream, you know, how do you talk to foreign women? And you know, good manners. If you've got good manners, even if people don't quite understand what you're saying, they, they can feel the energy from that, and people love that. Uh, and I think there's something to be said about good manners, and it, it comes from. Um, you know, a kind place. So a lot of guys fail to realize that when they're talking to women and women, a lot of quality women find it gross when men come up and they try and be something they're not. And that's bad manners as far as I'm concerned, as far as where I'm from. <clears throat> so I'll say it again, I'll keep saying it. It's the simple things that make a difference. Um, when you get the simple things right, that's when you get massive success in all in all areas of life, not just with women, building relationships and connecting with people. Uh, man, guys, if you've got any questions or anything you want to say, put them in the box. I always enjoy reading them.
that's one of the things I learned from from my mate, you know, and he was a mentor to me. Floyd, he, he had such good etiquette, good manners, and, and I had good manners, but it was, for me, it was an eye-opener seeing um, how um, well-mannered and confident and respectful he was when he spoke to women, and, and the reactions he got were just fantastic pretty much all the time. Women always responded well to him because the confidence, the, the, the sort of that respect, that positive energy and that and, and those good manners. It's sometimes just good manners it wins a woman over to go out of you because it's class, you know, you're a man of class and and, and good manners and values and class is a real strong man. That's a real masculine alpha male man. Not this type of new age alpha male man who's really not an alpha male, is a fake, he's a weak person lying and manipulating and being cocky and fake. That would that won't that will only last one summer. That it see, people think, oh, that's the way to be, and that's great. You see how long it lasts. If you look at like Tyson Fury, you look at Mike Tyson, you know Pacquiao. These guys are all well mannered, um, you know men. Just looking at my uh, protein bar there guys going gonna get this in me soon my protein bar there we go coffee <clears throat> so yeah it's the um 23rd and the 24th of july weekend program saturday sunday um life-changing I hope, well I know that a lot of people are, but I'm excited uh, about a lot of you watching some of the new videos, more of old ones, and I'm excited about you guys going down the gym, changing your life, and the business, a lot of business videos I'm doing now, because I've started doing business coaching, which I'm, I, I absolutely love it, it's a joy for me, it's, it's not even hard, I love it. So for those of you that are interested in building a business, doing what you love, inspiring people, getting paid to do what you love, learning how to be an entrepreneur, um, subscribe to my channel. If you, if you already are subscribed, I, I really appreciate it because there's gonna, I'm going to be teaching you everything that I know and, uh, and I've learned a lot uh, about business and it's been um, unbelievably exciting and challenging in a positive way and I've met some amazing people through business and entrepreneurship so I'm excited to share those lessons I've started already on the channel um, but there's going to be a lot more coming because I honestly believe that uh, business and entrepreneurship is such a great it's such a great skill to have for guys uh, and for women for that matter, for anybody that, for anybody that is a person that is really excited about becoming fearless, growing, improving, changing their life and being a more positive person to other people. It's amazing, it really is. Even if you don't want to, even if you don't want to like build a business, just learning some of the, the values the social skills and, and the entrepreneurial skills. You can apply them to any area of life. I'd say one of the, the one of the skills that comes to mind from, from business is, is hard work, it's work ethic. Again, that goes in line with the values, the good manners. This is really what um, improves your character and it will attract success in every area of your life, financially, spiritually, every area. That's why growing up, I loved listening to, and I still love it, I love Les Brown. I love listening to the old school guys, the, the real entrepreneurs, the good guys, the honest guys, the Les Browns, the Tony Robbins, the, the, the Brian Tracys. These men inspired me in, in such a powerful way when I was first starting out in the world of motivation, self-improvement, you know, improving my confidence. These men really helped me, you know, to get my, uh, to get my act together and to face my fears and, and, and uh, you know, build a successful business and inspire people. So you learn all these skills uh, as a consequence um, 
of just being around me and positive people on the weekend program. And just to let you guys know as well, if you can't make the weekend program, I've got the free Phyllis event coming up, which is a week before the weekend program. It's on the 17th of this month. So that's for the guys that want to get over social anxiety, want to grow, want to improve their skills, their dating, their relationships, business, um, you know. Hi, Johnny, thank you for your day, man. Second, let me just get your question there, mate. Um, would like to ask you a question. How do I never run out of things to say to women? I appreciate your kind words, uh, Constantine. You know what? I have done videos on the channel about that thing. Uh, I don't know if you've seen them, but I'll tell you now you have to practice. Um, You've got to practice talking to women and people and you've got to build the skill so that you don't run out of things to say. And there are various ways you can do it. I mean, doing live streams will help you with that. Any social situation. So it's a skill, Constantine, that you've got to learn. Uh, and, and you do it through practice and you do it with the right mindset. So that's how you do it, really. And I think you've got to, you know, you've got to fail as well. You've got to go through some embarrassing situations where you do run out of things to say. So that's a big fear that all men have. I had it as well when I started out. And I just kept putting myself in social situations. So I would say this as well. I would recommend that it's not just about, you know, learning how to not run out of things to say to women. It's a people skill. So practice whoever you're talking to or whatever situation you're in, keeping the conversation going. I think it's about focus. It's about stamina. It's putting in the effort to come up with things and learning how to find a topic and keep it going. So ask questions as well. You'll never run out of things to say if you ask interesting questions. Because any time you're running out of things to say, if you ask a woman a question that's interesting, she'll pick up the conversation. When she's answering the conversation, it gives you time to think of more things to say or to add to the conversation. Yeah, it's really practice, really. Uh, flow state as well, Constantine. I don't know if you saw my last live stream. It's on the channel. Look at it where I talk about positive psychology. When you're in a flow state, when you get warmed up socially, and when you're you know, getting your energy positive through the gym and taking action and, and facing your fears, you won't run out of things to say. When you're in flow state, it's impossible to run out of things to say. But obviously, if you're not in flow state, then you've got to learn the social skills that I said earlier, which is to ask interesting questions. Now, obviously, you don't want to ask 20 questions in one go. That's, that's too overwhelming. So three or four questions. If you ask the right questions and they're interesting at the right time, then there'll never be any dry moments in the conversation because, you know, there'll be things to say. Have you guys got any questions for me about any of these topics, you know, social skills, meeting women uh, in general, let me know. You know, I, I, I had that fear as well when, when I was starting out because I was shy and introverted and, and socially anxious. I would worry about running out of things to say and it getting awkward, but I just had to keep putting myself in social situations so I could not be afraid of that worry because it's, it's the worry that causes the suffering. It's that I'm worried that if I might run out of things to say. And I found the more that I kept meeting up with people and speaking to women and speaking to guys as well and friends and going to seminars and learning how to go to business meetings, the less it happens. And, and the more people you meet, the more you get into a flow, the more your state goes up. But obviously, if you're not socializing enough and you're isolating and you're letting your fears take over, then, it, then you're probably going to run out of things to say when you meet someone because you're not in a, you're not socializing enough. You're not, you're not, you're not loose. You're not warm. You're not, 
building that momentum. So that's what you need as well. You need a lot of momentum. And sometimes it's well, I like to practice, you know, having some silence. A lot of guys and people, women, are afraid of just having a bit of silence and just being comfortable in the silence or being comfortable in the uncomfortable silence and just giving a little bit of space. I'm going to do that now, actually, because it feels a bit unnatural for me to keep speaking and I'm, and I'm a bit tired after the gym and, and the coffee, so uh, I'll give it just a, you know, oh, I'm tired, it's a good time. I'll give it just a couple of seconds or a minute of uh, silence to make space. If you've got any questions, you guys can fill in. I've got two questions for you guys. Um, what are you doing today? How is your day going? Is it going well? Is it not going well? And, uh, you know, what's on your mind? What's in your heart? Let me know. Don't be afraid. Get it out. Let, let's have a let's have a real conversation. Well, I think if you're speaking to a girl um, and she's not saying much, then you've got to sort of have the skill to read that and know when is it appropriate to leave the conversation. And that's sometimes, see, you can't force things if it's not there. So there's a distinction between running out of things to say and being socially aware that the girl might not want to talk, she's not comfortable, and that's when you sometimes got to leave the conversation and end it and respect that. That's part of being... Um, now that's part of having good social skills because there's no point trying to force something when it's not there it's going to upset the person and you know and a woman's going to lose respect for you if you're trying to force something when it's not there so that, that takes a man and a strong person to leave it and move on and speak to someone else I, sh I want to share this. How do I share this to um, my Facebook? No. Where is it? No. That's ah. Oh, here we go. Brilliant. Share. Oh, we're gonna find this. That's great. I found out to share this. Okay, great. Oh, great. No, I didn't cut off yesterday, well, so now I, I ended it, you know, because I've been doing these streams every day, so. Um, it's a big commitment uh, emotionally, energetically, and obviously, I'm gym, I'm coaching, I'm running a business. So, um, I, I I always try and end these when it feels like it's time. So sometimes, if it feels if it's good and it's flowing and it feels right, I go on for an hour and a half. But if it feels like I've done enough, half an hour, I listen. Uh, that's, so that's how I do it. How are you, Wilson? How are you guys? Good, what's going on? I 
and I don't really have anything to say on that, to be honest. That's, I, I don't really, yeah, I don't really have anything to say on that, Dean. I won't speak on something that I'm not really passionate about. I, I don't really, it's not something I really think about. One, the, be the best practice I could give right now in this video that any of you can do, and if you do this regularly, your life will change, is sit in discomfort. Put yourself in situations, wherever it is, live stream, a day, a job interview, a public talk, a boxing gym. Put yourself in a situation of fear and anxiety. Sit in it. Don't judge yourself. Enjoy the suffering and your life's going to change. That's how you grow as a person. Most people, not all, most people avoid discomfort. They will not sit in a fearful situation because it doesn't feel good. But that's why they don't change their life. That's why they don't they're not happy. So if you want to be successful and you want to be confident in any area, you've got to be able to master the practice of sitting in discomfort until it becomes comfortable. Actually, I'm going to ask you guys some obvious questions, right? And I, and I want your answers. Is reading a book uncomfortable? Is it difficult? Or for the most part, would you say that reading a book is very comfortable, it's very easy? And, and, and I'm being straight. Let me know in the box below. Uh, there's, a, there's a point to this question. Uh, and if you guys don't feel motivated to answer it, that's fine, that's totally okay. I'll, I'll ask other questions. Maybe it will invoke um, some growth um, from today. Another good question you can ask yourself as a man every day, if you want to be the best version you can be is, am I challenging myself? Be completely honest. You can't lie to yourself with this one. Just ask yourself, in my life right now, on a day-to-day -day basis, am I challenging myself? And see what answer comes. Um, fair enough. Okay, that's interesting. Reading a book is a chore. Yeah, all my live streams are going up on the channel now, uh, Constantine, so you guys can check out any stream that you've missed. Every live stream has got amazing value, and all the live streams is like a book. The, the chapters are, are unfolding. They all connect with one another. So in one of the live streams, I'm talking about how to build a successful business. In another live stream, I'm talking about how to get over social anxiety, how to get motivated for the gym how to be more accountable, and everything that I'm learning every day, what mentors have taught me, what I'm learning from teaching the clients. So we bring all these um, different teachings in and, and, and have a lot of fun. I noticed how no one has answered that question yet. A lot of guys want to avoid it. Um, the question when you ask yourself, am I challenging myself? And the reason why a lot of guys don't like to ask that question is because they know that they're not challenging themselves and they don't want to admit that and face that. But if you can be honest and say, no, I'm not challenging myself because I'm afraid to, I'm in my comfort zone, I'm afraid of rejection, I'm afraid of growth, I care too much about what people think, I'm scared of success, I'm scared of coming out of my routine, then you can, you can achieve something from that place because of the honesty and the, the accountability and if you are challenging yourself, then more power to you, fantastic. Because then you can say, am I challenging myself? You say, 100% I am. I'm going to the gym or I'm facing new social situations or I'm building a business. That's fair enough. No, I, I appreciate that. You're more of an aura person, so an energy person, picking up on energy, audio books. That, yeah, that, that makes sense. What I love about the moment, because uh, everybody challenges me, is 
the challenge that I have with helping people is not everybody is going to understand some of the teachings that I'm saying and it's going to work for them. So I have to find different ways of explaining the teaching and giving different strategies. Basically, the goal is to get you guys to face your fears consistently, get you to take action and be successful and find your purpose. And many people are doing that. Some of you are going to be stuck. Some of you won't want to do it. Some of you don't want to hear what I've got to say. It's frustrating. Some of you are not sure. So that's the challenge that I face, that I enjoy it. Uh, you're, you're a champion. Uh, Leo says that he asked out three girls and he got rejected. I've only got nothing but respect for you. You're a, you're a successful man because if you're not failing in life, if you're not going through the rejections, then you're, you're not growing. So congratulations, that's big success. That you had the courage, you did it, you did the best. And if you keep working at it and working on yourself, you're gonna get huge success. But just what you've done, that is success. It's crazy how society kind of teaches the opposite. They put a lot of fear in men and women and people and they teach people to fear rejection so people won't try or if they do try and they get rejected, they quit on their dreams. But I know from my experience that when you use failure as a tool, you become successful. When you get to a deeper level of understanding, there's no rejection, there's only feedback and growth. Uh, and sometimes women do you a favor by rejecting you because they're not the right women for you and you're not the right guy for them. And you know, there's a bigger plan ahead. You're meant to go through more growth. You had to go through that and then you're gonna meet a great woman later on. Uh, I've said it before, uh, I can't even count on all my fingers and hands how many times I've been rejected by women, dates, people, life. Um, but it's changed my life, it's made me be successful. I just got asked this question, right? Uh, and be honest guys, right? Just be honest, okay? How many of you want to grow um, on this live stream? A good friend of mine is just sending me some um, WhatsApp messages. Really good friend of mine. Uh, I'll read his messages after we do the stream. How many of you want to grow um, on this channel, on this live stream right now? Uh, let me know. If you don't want to grow, that's totally fine. I totally respect that. But if you do want to grow, let me know. I just want to say as well, and I make a point of saying it every time, and I really do appreciate you guys' the support that you give me. It, it, it is, um, there's not really any, any words that you can really say to sum it up. Obviously, I can say thanks and I appreciate it, but it just, it's unbelievable, really. It isn't a given. I don't, I don't take it for granted, um, especially, um, especially after I went through the, um, the mental breakdown in 2017. I was grateful before that, but I, I became a lot more grateful after going through the mental health breakdown, um, you know, being in a mental hospital and then recovering and coming back and being in a great place now. So you really do appreciate it. I think as well, because I follow other successful people who have got big followings and, and, and I, I get some of that. I, I, can, I can see they're, they're appreciative people so it's not a given, you know, it's not a given. I also appreciate the criticism as well, because, you know, without any criticism, I, I wouldn't have been able to grow stronger. There's many other things that I wouldn't have been able to do. And wouldn't be, I wouldn't be able to be strong for other people without the criticism. Yeah, I understand. You know, first of all, Constantine, you know, that's normal. Everybody goes through that. 
but you've got to find ways of getting past your negative emotions in your mind and I don't know if you're doing gym at the moment but working out will help for that and you know just every single day taking maybe an hour out to sit down and be grateful and just work at you know going over some positive affirmations and feeling good about yourself that helps Yeah, you really want to improve that, Leo. You want to speak up clearly because speaking speaking at a low tone tells everybody, I'm not confident, I don't believe in myself. And sometimes you don't realize, but your human nature is trying to sabotage you. So speak up a bit more, Leo. Well done for being honest about it. Because I've seen this with students, and I've done this myself many times where they speak really low. And it's because you know, the fear of other people hearing you, embarrassment, fear, Speak up, speak like a man, speak the way God made you to speak, speak clearly, speak up. You don't have to shout and be aggressive, no, but be confident, be clear, because women don't like that when you speak to them and you're whispering, it makes them like, what? It makes them agitated and, and it's a kind of annoying thing for people, so speak up more, speak clearer and, and it's going to make a big difference, but well done for pointing it out and being aware of it, because that means that you do have to change that. To be honest, James, I'm only joking. Go on then. Yeah, I, I had the same problem, Leo, as well, right? Just to let you know, I had I used to speak low when I was uh, starting out because I was uh, shy and insecure, and I had to work at it. And and I did get over it and my life really did change and people used to always tell me like I can't hear you speak so low so um, nothing to feel bad about just work on it uh, no I haven't watched that show James to be honest I'm um, I'm quite careful with what I watch on YouTube uh, I don't really uh, well I'm sure that's probably a good show right but um, I don't just watch anything. I kind of don't watch probably all, all the mainstream kind of stuff. I'm quite selective of what I watch on YouTube. And to be honest, most of the time I'm busy on my own channel. I've got my own, um, you know, vision and purpose that I'm on. So, but listen, I, I hope it's a good show and I hope you enjoy it. I do really enjoy watching uh, David Goggins stuff. I'm sure all of you, you obviously know who that is. Uh, I think he's, a, I think David Goggins is brilliant. He's, he's a brilliant man, brilliant story. So it's interesting because not one person, when I said how many people want to grow, no one answered it. So that's interesting. That It kind of tells you a lot about, um, it tells you a lot about, okay. uh, you're welcome Leo, you get there, you get there 100%, you get there. Oh really, really? That's uh, yeah. I've, I've I didn't watch that show, James, but I saw the thumbnails and I got an idea of what it's about. Oh, what do I do to relax? I take action, Wilson. I face the fear. My relaxation is facing fear and anxiety, and pretty much my whole life is around that. So teaching, business. Um, walks i'm right i'm relaxed right now so i i actually get relaxed wilson through doing practical things that calms me down if i just sit about and don't do anything 
uh, I get anxiety in a negative way. Now, of course, there's times where I relax. There's, there's plenty of time at night, sleeping, watching a movie, but I get into a real place of where I am now through you know, doing what I love, teaching and doing practical things, especially boxing, hitting the punch bag. Man, I go to a, go to a, a very relaxed place I've got to say this come to mind. Uh, I love cats. I think they're such beautiful animals. So just being in the company of a cat makes me relax. Maybe I should get a cat, but I don't think my place is big enough. You need more room, but you know, my family's got a cat. Oh, did you? Wow. Wow, that's a big transformation. Nine, you went from nine and a half stone to 12 and a half stone. Well done, that's great and it's healthy weight gain. That's great. So you're into your training, that's good to hear. Okay, so James wants to grow, he is growing. He's physically grown from nine and a half stone to 12 and a half stone in three years, so that is great. Excellent, excellent. Um, Fred Bloggs has found, his, uh, he's found his joy today, so that's good. I'm enjoying. I'm generally enjoying these live streams. These are great, man. They're getting they're getting better and better um, every time. I'm just enjoying them more and more. And we're we're, make, uh, we're making a big difference. So as I I knew we would. I knew these would start really helping um, guys, everyone, and I knew we'd have a lot of fun as well. Oh, it's the best. Listen, you cannot put a price on going for a good walk. It's one of the best things you can do. It's simple, and it's, it's the best. Uh, I don't think it's got that, James, no. I don't think the gym I've got has got that. Guys, um, I'm going to buy this um, lens for my uh, my camera. It gives um, it's just different shots. Obviously, I'm using the phone now, but the Canon that I use, where I mic up, there's a lens called the. Uh, it's been out for a while, but it's called the Pancake Lens, and it's um, I'm excited about that. I'm going to buy it. I shouldn't. I don't know why I've been waiting so long to get it. Uh, I'm going to order it on. Um, I'm going to order it on Amazon tonight. I really want to get this lens so I can keep improving the videos. By the way, guys, I, I love I love the creative side of videos. I love getting good shots, improving. I'm still learning at it and fading my way to success. So I don't know if any of you out there really love like filmography and, and the lighting and the shots. Uh, I, I've got passion for it. And that does sound good, James. Uh, I will, I will do that. I'll definitely do that in the future. Uh, we used to do it back in the day, in, in the gym that I went. But yeah, thanks for sharing that. Definitely, we'll do that. That, that. that sounds like the right thing to do. I think I need another coffee. I just had a little bit of a realization today, guys. You guys want to hear it? This is um, this is pretty powerful. I'm, I'm gonna be very honest as well. You know, when I used to do these um, streams and, and the videos, obviously it's human nature, and we've all been programmed. I would think, oh, there's not many people on. Like, I need to have a lot of people on in order to feel good about the stream, and, and that I'm, you know, that I'm making an impact and people are succeeding. But I can, only, I can be wholeheartedly honest, actually feels great and, and 10 out of 10 
no matter how many people are on. And I think that's what I, I know that's because I'm in a good place and I'm really working myself and I'm really working focusing just helping other people. So it's not always the numbers. Numbers don't, you know, I know that they say numbers don't lie. Sometimes they do lie because you can have a hundred people on a stream, but you're not enjoying it. And it's too much about ego rather than about impact and just being grateful. So I'm really enjoying it today and I've been enjoying all of them. Um, and funny enough, I know my intuition and my instinct will tell me that the streams are going to grow massive anyway because people feel I'm enjoying it, I'm talking sense, it's changing their life, it's changing my life and we're all bringing some great energy to this today and um, so I thought I'd share that, I'm going to make a video, I think people will really resonate with that. Uh, Jordan Peterson's great. I, I respect Jordan Peterson. Uh, I liked him. Uh, I liked what he was saying from when he first came out. You know, interesting about Jordan Peterson, I found this stuff when he wasn't famous. And he was doing these lectures and he was talking about social anxiety. And of course, I resonated with Jordan because I'm a teacher of social anxiety. I had social anxiety. I'm passionate about it. And he was saying truthful things about it that I taught, that I've experienced. So I saw him and I liked him before he was even this superstar and famous. And um, I've gotten, he's helped me through some of his talks, he said things. So, you know, all, all power to Jordan Peterson and just wish him continuation of success on, on his journey of what he's doing. He's, he's a brave man, he's helped a lot of men, a lot of women, a lot of people. Oh, 100%. Quality, quality over quantity. But I think you've got to go through life experiences, you know, like you have, Fred Vlogs, and I have to kind of appreciate that. Always learning, man. You never stop learning. Even when you're an expert, you, you, you never stop. Um, because you, I don't, we don't know everything, and I don't know, and I, I love learning. Learning is growing, you know. It takes a lot of guts, the honus. Whoever you are, man or woman, it takes a lot of guts to let go of needing people to like you in person or on, on videos, hitting like. If you can let go of that, I'm not saying forever, but regularly and be happy in yourself and just be yourself and accept what's whatever, that's better feeling than being afraid and being terrified to be liked and, and get this and that. Because at a certain point, that doesn't make you happy but obviously most of our society has been programmed to think like that and to act like that and and we've all done it i've definitely done it i don't think anyone hasn't but i always appreciate when i'm in a place where i'm not acting like that i'm not thinking like that and that totally embodies the phrase enjoy the process because when you're enjoying the process you you don't need an outcome you don't need numbers you don't need people to scratch your back or like you of course it's nice to be liked but when you're enjoying it you you know you are um, without sounding cheesy you like yourself you love yourself you've got a you haven't got an empty cup you've got um a minute have a bit of fun no you've got a pretty you've got a full almost a full cup Oh. something to be said about that the power of letting go of outcomes and needing outcomes and just if, if you enjoy what you're doing then that's more powerful than external likes because you could get thousands of followers you could get loads of likes you can make all this stuff but if you're not happy you're not enjoying it then then it's really just a nuisance you don't really appreciate it read of these questions I like it some people out here don't understand the years and years it takes to to your level appreciate anyone out there who is putting the work in to help others and do better it's hundred percent man hundred percent you know always appreciating respecting anybody that works hard at what they do and 
especially with helping others because it's not easy to do it's not easy but to contradict what i said when you enjoy it and you're passionate about it and you get into it it's easy because you love it but by definition it isn't an easy thing to go out and uh, you know break your back and blood sweat and tears to help other people because you've really got to sacrifice your own um, you know you got you got to put yourself out there you've got to put your selfish stuff aside and and be vulnerable but it's worth it it's worth it man and to get the kicks and the bumps and the bruises along the way definitely worth it Gotta say that, right? There are a lot, there are a lot of negative things in the world, which is obvious. But there's also a lot of positive. Um, lately, I'm seeing some brilliant podcasts where people are really being honest and growing. So, let's read this. Hold on a second. Sorry, Jen. The screen just disconnected. There, I was just trying to read the message. That's a really deep question, and uh, it's going to be, it's, uh, um, that's a good question. I'm going to have to make a video on that, because that's really deep, and that will take me about half an hour to explain, even a bit longer, but I love the question. Great question. So Constantine asked me, Johnny, how do you show your emotions when you're talking to women, when you come from a kind of broken household? Well, I, the first thing is, is, um, is patience. You've got to learn to be patient with yourself because when we've gone through trauma and we've all gone through trauma, it's not easy. It's not, it's easy to say it, but it's not easy to be vulnerable and emotional. So I think it's something that you, you've got to start off with the question that you've asked. You've got to ask, well, look, I'm talking to him and, and I'm not able to be emotional. I'm not able to show my emotions or be how, so you've got to start there. And then it's about finding the courage to slowly show those emotions. So it's something you do over time. And I, I was no different to you. Um, you know, coming from trauma, I had, a, you know, and I'm still in the process of learning. So it, it takes time and it takes practice. And I think you can't force it. If you force yourself to do it, it won't come naturally. So you've got to learn how to relax how to feel confident, how to feel more comfortable and secure in yourself and and uh, and then it will just start coming. So it takes time and practice. I, I don't think it's something that you can just click your fingers and and do all of a sudden. It's, it's kind of like you've got to get some kind of therapy. You've got to, you've got to heal this trauma and you've got to develop the, um, the social skills and, and kind of let it come naturally. But you, you definitely, you will get it. Because you're on this channel, you're learning, you're asking the right questions and you want to improve it. So I think wanting to improve it is half the battle won. So that's, you know, kind of as much as I can speak on now. But I will, I will follow up on that because I need to sort of sit here and it's a big, deep question. But I've given you, you know, a big part of what you need to do. Yeah, that's a great place to be at, you know, where, you know, you get a mentor, like when you came out with me and we did the coaching, we did the six weeks program, Fred Locks, and, you know, um, it was great. And I, and I gave you the help that was able to give you uh, and it helped you a lot. And even better, now you're able to go out on your own without my help or without the help of a mentor. And you're the person now, you're able to do it. And that's where I wish to get anyone that I work with where they're not depending on me or anybody and they can be dependent on themselves so I would say that's the kind of right relationship with a mentor I know everyone's different but generally my one is to train people up to help them to help themselves so they're no longer dependent on me or anybody and they can be dependent on themselves that's job done
I will do, man. I will answer your question, uh, Constantine. I appreciate that. And I, I will do um, like a, a video on that and at some point maybe a podcast interview with a friend or someone. So I've made a note. And that's what I do on these pod sorry, these streams. Um, any question that really hits a nerve, I make a note and then I do a video. I did it in the last video. Uh, Eddie from Ireland asked me... Um, how to get motivated to face social anxiety so I made a video the next day on the channel so I will get around to doing a video for you and answering your question because there's millions of men who are struggling with the same thing that you are and I struggle with it as well so you know I don't exclude myself from that and, and I really improved um, but it's not easy but you can do it it is painful don't get me wrong it's painful to it's painful to go from a place where you can't really emotionally connect with women and then to work through that trauma and then have those connections but it is it is worth it but it's something that i feel you can't rush it because it's too painful and it's too overwhelming you've got to break it down yeah i think that's an important lesson isn't it and i think that's another video that i'm going to make is with talking about the value of um, appreciating help from mentors and friends but you can't rely on them forever you you've got to you know you know that's what my father taught me growing up guys he gave me some great lessons and he used to say to me you know you can't rely on me forever and I didn't I used to didn't like hearing it but he would say like you know I'm not going to be around forever and you've got to be a man you've got to learn how to take care of yourself That's why, that's one of the reasons why I really do enjoy doing these live streams um, with all you guys because we have real conversations that are genuine and that are not ego ridden and we really help one another and it's brilliant and people that will watch this even if they don't feel comfortable to comment they're going to get loads out of it because everybody's helping everyone because the conversations are super truthful, super honest, super inspiring and everybody is adding their experiences. So this is, for me personally, what I love about teaching and coming on these and learning as well. Yeah, I'm a huge believer that, you know, without the help of a coach or a mentor, I don't think it's possible for anybody to fulfill their dreams and you've only got to look at Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson wouldn't have had the success without Cuss, without his mentor, Tyson Fury, anybody. It doesn't have to be these superstars and I wouldn't have I wouldn't have got to where I got to without the mentors that I had, the Les Browns, the Floyds. Uh, later on, you know, I had um, Jeff, Jeff Thompson. So these mentors that I had in my life, and I had some other mentors as well, my father as well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been, wouldn't be the man I am. We can't do it all on our own. We, we can't, we can't, we need help. We need help from other, other people. To be honest as well, I've got to add in the great women that have helped me, because, you know, previous girlfriend years ago, she, you know, she wasn't, you know, an official mentor, but it was, she helped me a lot uh, to grow as a man and improve. And, you know, it's a cheesy saying, but, you know, I, w I wouldn't have built a success with this channel without her if I didn't meet her. She really, you know, the love and the strength uh, that, that I got from her and what we had together was just second to none. So I can't leave that out. That, that wouldn't be fair. So mentors don't always have to come in the form of male. It can, it can be a female. It's just someone someone that can help you, someone that can be truthful and help you at a certain time. And like one of my friends says, my clients, he says to me, you know, there are some mentors that come into our life for one hour. Uh, some come for 10 years, some come for life. Oh, I love that song. Did you like that song? It's a classic. I sent it to my mate and he loved it. You post it, yeah, Peter Gabriel on Kate Bush. I'd recommend it. Oh, okay, I recommend Super Tramp. Give it a little bit. All right, I'll have a look at that.
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm learning a lot as well um, about how to do good live streams. I, 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 I'm learning by doing them and seeing, you know, what works, what doesn't. Uh, I'm going to start helping that with my business clients because live streaming is actually a great way to get clients and add value and build a business. It re if you do it the right way, uh, and I've learned how to do it. And I think the most important thing is that you've got to be genuine with people. You, you can't be fake and you've got to really help them and enjoy it. And the social skill that I've learned, guys, from doing these and I'm still learning is the ability to relax as well and be able to be silent when you're silent and, and speak and chill out. I think people like that. I think it comes across. So I'm learning loads, man. Always learning. Um, do you know what, Fred Blogs? Um, that's great because there's always room for growth, and I am working. I have for the last three years since lockdown. I've been really looking at ways that I can improve the business, the platform, the service, and there's always room for improvement. So phone phone-ins would be great. Definitely, definitely would be something that I would do. I mean, I'd do it now if we could do it. It wouldn't be a problem for me. Um, it would be a joy. So um, I'd have to figure out the technology on how to do that. Uh, but at the same time, I wouldn't want people just to be reliant on a phone call. So I, I would do a certain amount because I, I like doing this stuff in person. But yeah, I can see the value in that. One option that YouTube need to get, I think, like Instagram, they need to get the, the video call in. Um, they don't actually have the software on this where it's one of you could come on as a video now, even better than a phone call. So you're on the screen, you can talk, I can ask you a question, have a chat with you, but they haven't done that. I'm sure they will. I know there is a technology, because I follow a boxing channel that I really like. Um, I'd recommend it, it's called True School Sports. A guy and his dad, they're brilliant really one of the best channels in boxing and he does that on his live streams actually he brought me on once he brings people on I think he's using a software I know the name of it I know the name I'll have to get it I'll have to look at it so great I've got a few ideas on how to improve this platform we're getting there though you know we've got a great quality camera now because the quality used to be poor that I used um, we've got nice, um, nice environment, nice energy. I do need to improve the sound because I'm not using a mic. Although the audio is pretty good, but it would be better. So I will get on that so that um, the, the sound quality will be as good as the quality of my um, YouTube videos on the Canon. Yeah. Do you know I don't use TikTok Leo. I don't, I'm not feeling it, you know. It doesn't feel right for me. I could be missing out, but I, I get a feel that, you know, it doesn't feel in line with my values and stuff using using TikTok, but I could be wrong, right? It's, it's willing to be wrong. But no, I prefer Instagram and, and YouTube. You guys can follow me on Instagram if you want as well. I've got an Instagram page. I post up lots of motivating stuff there, clips, videos, etc. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a nice environment. And this is one of the practices that I encourage my um, clients to do, business clients, is to get in environments like this where the energy is good and it, you can pick up on it. You know, like I, I've done some short videos on this saying, you know, get around successful people, it rubs off. Get around successful environments, it, it, well, you guys are smart, you know it rubs off. You guys mind if I have a little mini nap? You, know? you guys wake me up and uh, do a little um, little snooze. No, I'm only joking. I was laughing about that the other day on the stream, saying, "Can you imagine the audacity if a teacher or someone on YouTube is streaming and he, he's had a nap asleep? It'd be hilarious. I'd go viral, won't it? Hilarious." That's 
great what you're doing, man. What you're doing is brilliant, man. Going on all these dates, um, the growth that you're getting and that you will get or anyone would get is, is second to none. Well, if you guys want, if you want to um, come down and join me here when I do the free Phyllis event, I'll take you guys here. If you like, if you like these places and environment, we can come here and have a coffee. Uh, people are nice here. I spoke to the guy, said, yeah, I can bring a group in here. I, I bring a group, a couple, when was it? Is it a year ago? I can't remember, in the, in the Corinthia Hotel, another hotel that's nice. It's nice once in a while to mix it up. Um, so, yeah, you guys can come along. The next Phyllis event is on the 17th, it's free. Um, we do it every month and I'll take, we always go to a different place. I like keeping it, you know, keeping it fun. So we used to do it in St. James's Park. Um, I love that. I felt like it needed a change. And then we went to the Porter House. It's an Irish pub in Covent Garden. I feel like we've kind of done that enough. So the, the next one is gonna be, it'll be here or, or another place and it's, um, I think you guys will love it. And it's, it's good for anybody that feels nervous or intimidated because you get outside your comfort zone and, and you work your courage muscles. Agreed, agreed, Fred Blogs. Uh, I've been saying that in a few videos that we've spoken about it. When you get to a certain level, it isn't about the things that most people think. It's not about the money, it's not about the places, it's not about followers on Instagram. It's about you as a person, how you're feeling, how you make the other person feel. If you feel good in yourself, and there's a lot of good energy coming out of you, the woman will just, people will want to be in your company. She will not care if it's in KFC, McDonald's, a high-end hotel like this, the park, the council state, the swimming pool. She would just love being around you. I enjoyed that little poetic, but I mean it from the heart. But again, like one of you said on the other live stream, you said you like going out to nice places. There's nothing wrong with doing that as long as it doesn't become an insecurity, a defense mechanism, or you're trying to impress in the wrong way. If it's genuine and it flows, then go for it. want to make a point of saying this is to break the ice that I, I love what I do I, I know I'm excellent at it God gives me the talent and the strength and I take it serious but at the same time I don't take myself too serious I do these streams I do the videos sometimes I look at my stuff and, and, I, and I, lo I laugh at myself in a positive way because I can see the fun in everything and, and not take it too serious because I don't think that's healthy either I think that would be a brilliant video and you guys are basically given you know you kind of said that that it's challenging for a lot of men out there because we've been conditioned with ideas to think that you've got to do xyz otherwise a woman won't like you or the date won't go well and you know i understand that because if you're taught that and you believe that then that's going to be true for you but when you challenge that belief and you disprove it it's no longer true for you what's that question so we'll look That's true, man. That's true. I think that's the beauty of going on lots of dates. I'm not saying guys have to, but when you go on dates and you meet different women, you go out, you learn about these things and you learn, you know, you learn through mistakes and doing it right. 
It's all about perspective because one guy will fundamentally disagree with me and you guys, he will say, no, you've got to go to nice places, you've got to spend money because you won't be able to get a woman. He fundamentally believes that, good luck to him. Another guy like me goes, that is 100% not true. I've got proof, I've been successful. I haven't had to go out and spend loads of money to get a woman's love or for her to want to be with me. It's been quite the opposite. So it's all about your perspective, your perception, what you believe in and how confident you are, how you make a person feel. And of course, there's different women. Some women will go, yep, I only go out of a guy who spends money on me. That's her perspective, her values. Another woman would be completely the opposite to that. But I guess that's for all the, that's for every individual to figure it out for themselves. Or if, they, if you can't do it, you need help, then get a mentor. dilemma here this stream's great we can do a few more minutes but I need a toilet right how are we gonna do this if I leave my phone someone might steal it but you guys can go hey don't steal this phone we're on to you I need a toilet um, something. I don't think someone would steal it here. you never know It's not about the places that you take women outside. It's about the place where you're at inside. If you're in a good place inside yourself, and you feel good and you're aligned to your purpose and you've got meaning, things are going well and you feel secure and you care for women, you love women, you respect them. It doesn't really matter where you go outside because the inside man is good. And that's what women see, sense, feel, and that's what they're gonna respond to. <laughs> I like that Wilson, I, li I like that, that was a good one, you're really thinking on your toes that that was great, I love that, I like that, put your phone in your pocket and put it on silent. You don't think like that when you're younger, do you? Unless you've got, a, you know, like a mentor. Or you, when you're a kid, you, you, you don't understand that intellectually and spiritually, emotionally, that it's not really about where I take a woman out for a date in regards to her liking me or not, but it's about who I am, how I feel about myself inside, how confident I am, how secure I am, how what I project. You don't know that. Isn't it a shame? If you knew that and you thought that, you wouldn't be misled by the negative teachings of society and you know all of the fake stuff that comes with that but at the same time again i'm not saying that guys uh, should be a cheapskate and not take a woman out because it when it when it feels right i love taking a woman out who's a nice person and, and treating her and taking her to a nice place so there is a balance within that we're not saying that you just become spiritual tight you don't spend any money you mean and you take, you know, and you take a woman uh, to a, to a shithole. Uh, I'm not saying that. There, there is a balance in between all these things. Costa date's fine. There's, there's the, uh, a coffee date. Nothing wrong with that. But what about a protein date, man? I thought about that the other day, man. Hey, let's go for a protein shake. What's wrong with that? <laughs> They'll probably. Oh man, it's funny. But that will work. If she likes protein and she's training and you're both training, there's some really great places that do some great protein shakes. Hell, they might, I might even mix a coffee with protein. <laughs> That's too funny, man. A nice, uh, now we're talking, man. An ice cream date is great, man. Tony Montana, girls like ice cream.
What about a marathon date? What about a walking date? Going for a walk? What about um, what about pull up date? Pull up challenge? <laughs> what about a live stream date? What about coming on a live stream of your date and tuning in to the show? <laughs> Just don't bring your dates on to my. Don't do that. Don't do that. that that's that's where it gets weird. <laughs> I'm just laughing, I, got, I, got, I can hear some of uh, Les Brown's talks in my head, some of the things he says, he cracks me up. I'm not gonna repeat them. 100%, I, I said it since 2012, and, and you're saying the same, and I'll say it in 2012, 22, sorry. Honesty is attractive to women. Um, I, I, I actually like it when a lot of guys don't agree with me and say, no, it don't, no, it don't work. Because it's like, that's fine, that's your belief, that doesn't work for you. It works for me and it works for my clients and it works for the mentors that help me. I need a pee and I need a coffee. Okay, hold on a second, right? You know what guys, we're gonna, how do we pause this? You know what, I'm gonna take a risk, man. I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna go run to the toilet, leave my phone, I hope nobody steals it. Anybody comes, guys, you take their description, right? I'll be back in a sec, guys. Oh, it's still here. That's good. No one nicked my phone. Oh, I feel better now. An hour and a half we've been going. We're getting all the coffee. Right, I'll tell you what, guys. We'll go for one more minute, yeah? Just keep doing it every minute. Um, oh, no. I've got a dilemma here. I've got to transfer some... Um, One second, guys, I'll be back. Oh, that's a nice order of coffee, man. Yeah, so what was we saying? Um, Yeah, the different dating places, it, it doesn't really matter once you get to a certain level, but I suppose for a complete beginner, 
um, it's gonna it's gonna matter in a way because he doesn't have the confidence in himself. See, that's I just thought of something always learning. When you don't have the confidence in yourself, you're relying on the environment to give you. Um, you are relying on the environment in hope that the girl will like you, which isn't a great thing to do, but I suppose it's a starting point to give you some experience until you can realize that you can let go of needing the environment to make you feel the way that you want to feel and hope that one will like you. It's terrible, isn't it? The pressure that society puts on men and women. It's the, the, it's the pressure that society puts on men and women that can ruin a date and a relationship. Song regulate. It's time to regulate, guys. Now, you guys, you guys might pay for my coffee because you, you know, you're draining my energy, man. I'm only joking. I'm just messing around. All right, we've gone into extra time now. It's the 91 minute mark. We're gonna, we're gonna bring on some subs. My coffee's kicked in now. <laughs> Um, I, I probably just to be honest, like you said, if you're going to do that, um, that again, it's, it's obviously it's down to what you want. But I just think honesty is the best policy. I just think it's it's not good to bullshit people or bullshit women. Uh, I know people do it. Uh, oh, battery's running low, 20%. Right now we've got another we've got another challenge. I love challenges. It's not the challenges in life, but it's the way you respond to them. What we got here? Gym bag. Came prepared for you guys, then. Oh shit! Where's my charger? Oh no! Did I not bring my charger? Ah, oh, you gotta be joking! I'm sure I did. Never stop learning, do you? Uh, oh yes, I did. I did bring it. I did bring it. It's in the side pocket. There you go. You know what, guys? I might need to hang up and call back. I just got to charge this phone. You know what, guys? I'm going to call it. I'm going to. I'll be back live again because we've done an hour and a half. So, um, if you guys want to tune back in, I'm going to go live again. I'll have a 10 minute coffee break. I can charge this phone and we'll go out again. All right. Awesome, guys. Thanks for coming on.